Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel by Ushika. This is Ishika and today I would be discussing all about your internship certification as well as skills that you can build during your graduation that would obviously help you in longer run. So basically in a field uh, that is in biotechnology, you cannot rely on theory knowledge. You had to have your practical knowledge intact. So for that, you need to develop certain skills from certain uh, online platform or by doing certain online courses so in this video i would be discussing everything briefly so you can uh, get an idea what it is all about to do in your graduation so without wasting any further time let's dig into the topic so let's start biotechnology in western field is in uh, high demand especially in the fields of medicine your healthcare food agriculture etc everywhere biotechnology right now uh, is booming it's growing so what biotechnology actually demands for it first of all demands for flexibility what do you mean by flexibility for example let's say there are two people who are applying for a job one having a lot of skills like uh, he has skills regarding your uh, gene editing he also has skills regarding your bioinformatics and another one has certain specification and much more theoretical knowledge regarding a single certain uh, field let's say for example let's say he has much more theoretical knowledge regarding bioinformatics for example so obviously uh, if both are applying into some company the company would be selecting someone who is flexible to every kind of knowledge so the company would obviously select person number one who is having a lot of skills, I mean proper knowledge, proper flexibility so that they can put him or her in certain situation where he or she can be useful to the company, he or she would be beneficial. So I meant to say that you guys must be having enough knowledge, enough uh, skills, enough certifications and you uh, ha should have done uh, certain internships in order to get into better jobs better companies you can uh, have a good cv so these are certain things that uh, would help you to boost your uh, career in biotechnology so moving on let's discuss about the skills that i have been talking about since the start of the video so you guys must be thinking what are what skills exactly are basically so in biotechnology we have certain fields so you can choose these fields according to your interest. So there are multiple kind of fields, but I have included those fields which are in demand right now. So we have molecular biology or genetics. We have bioinformatics and data analysts. We have bioprocess engineering. We have drug discovery and development. We have clinical research and regulation. These are the fields which are in high demand right now. So within these fields, we have certain practical techniques or known as skills that I have been talking about. So within these fields, there are certain techniques which would help you to develop knowledge regarding that particular field that you have chosen for yourself. So let's see. So first of all, if your interests are in learning more about bioprocess engineering, so the skills that you can develop during your study period that is uh, regarding fermentation, your bioreactors or vaccines, let's say you are much more interested in knowing about genetics or molecular biology you can develop your skills on dna rna or cripsar editing so these would help you to develop good amount of knowledge in this particular field that is your molecular biology and genetics so this is how uh, skills are developed and uh, these are all about practical techniques i would say so now that you guys know about certain fields and skills so you guys must be thinking that uh, how to learn these skills what are the online platforms or online courses don't worry stay tuned throughout this video i would be discussing briefly about everything and if you guys have any doubt you can always comment below in the comment section and connect with me in instagram i would uh, tag my account below again so uh, let's see Moving on, if we see best online platforms for biotech learning, first of all, we have Coursera. So you can learn from top universities like John Hopkins, Sanford. We have edX. You can have direct access to certain IITs as well as MIT, Harvard. So these are dream colleges, right? You can always go through their courses, their duration. Check out these websites, please. So Udemy, you can always start with Udemy as it is very affordable, budget friendly as well. Future Learn, the UK universities also offers, you can learn from their, they offer all, they offer programs as well, UK universities. You can check out their programs time to time. We have NPTEL that is from India. You can learn from IIT professors and shape your career, shape your uh, future in biotechnology as well. So guys, please check this out. 
moving on let's see top recommended courses so before starting this i have discussed with you previously about certain fields in biotechnology in this slide if you remember so let's assume that you have keen interest in knowing more about bioprocess engineering that is fermentation bioreactors and vaccines now you can always refer to nptl for bioreactors and fermentation for better knowledge so you can choose the field which you want to develop skill on you can do the course i have mentioned these uh, like the top high demand courses basically not everything i have included you can always check that out in those online platforms here i have already mentioned but yahan pe i have mentioned certain uh, courses that are in high demand for the high demand fields so you can always check this out so for coursera if you want if you have keen interest in knowing more about genomics and bioinformatics you can always refer to coursera and for uh, edx you can uh, learn more about biochemistry then biotechnology techniques and tools you can refer to udemy and for biotech reactors and fermentation you can refer to nptel you can do this course drug development explained you can learn from future learn and so jumping into the most important part that is what do you get after completing your course so maan lete hain that you guys have selected certain field according to your interest now tum ja ke us particular field ka skills dekh liye which are in high demand fir maine discuss kiya with you about certain online platforms jisse from top universities you can learn and you can get direct access to you know mit iits harvard that is edx you can learn from iit professors everything i have discussed with you and uske baad tumne ek course choose kiya according to your field so abhi tumne wo course ko sincerely tumne sara classes attend kiya hai tumne assignment diya hai tumne exams diya hai tumne proper duration ko follow karke course complete kiya hai now what now you get the certification jisko tum include kar sakte ho apne cv mein in your resume which would obviously help you in longer run of course so yeah so if we see certificates from top universities stronger cv and linkedin profile prepares for jobs higher studies and research purposes real world projects not just theory yes i have already told you that biotechnology is not about having theoretical knowledge but also having enough practical knowledge regarding techniques and skills so yeah career options after upskilling so after getting a certification you can always uh, check out for jobs like in research scientist bioinformatics analyst bioprocess engineering clinical research associate biotech entrepreneur for startups and innovations so these are certain career options you can always look for after uh, having enough certifications enough skills and enough knowledge techniques um, about biotechnology so how to learn effectively online so first of all to learn effectively you need to have enough knowledge about your desired field man lo for example you chose a field according to your interest now you should be having enough knowledge about the skills from where you can learn those skills uh, about the courses about the certifications that you are getting after completing the particular course these are the certain things you should be having enough knowledge in order to perform effectively so you can give again you can give time uh, accordingly basically don't don't follow this accordingly how much time you have how maybe you can give more than this as well so accordingly you have to give proper time in order to finish that course in order to develop that skill so you can also do mini projects during that time case studies lab practice you can join biotech forums as well as linkedin groups for more connectivity you can connect to people ask your seniors about uh, the skills about uh, more fields more courses then you can always update your cv after completing your course and getting certification so yeah moving on future of biotechnology careers so as i have already told you that biotechnology is a booming field in uh medicine in health startups agriculture and a lot more stuff in plant biotechnology everywhere basically so it is basically more effective in personalized medicine ai plus bioinformatics for drug discovery we have industrial biotech for fuels food eco products we have clinical research for vaccines and medicines startups and entrepreneurship potential also biotechnology holds so you guys can check these fields out after uh, completing the previous steps that i have discussed all so here we come to an end guys i hope this video was a great help at least for those who are doing their graduation and have no clue about skills internships or mini projects 
uh, you guys can always connect to me through instagram and you can always comment below in the comment section i'm always ready to help you guys out trust me building a good career in biotechnology is not that hard if you have right knowledge about skills techniques internship certifications i promise you that if you guys have any doubt literally anything you can ask me or comment below in this video and share this video as much uh, as possible to your biotech friends and uh, help them out as well so thank you so much all the best guys stay tuned Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more bio related content.